Welcome to the e-learning for Sage UBS on the topic of inventory costing. Sage UBS supports various inventory costing methods, that is fixed cost, moving average and first in first out. Learn how Sage UBS handles it. Before you start with any transaction input, it is utmost important for you to decide on the type of inventory system and costing method to use for your reporting needs. In Sage UBS, it is still allowed to change these settings even there are entered transactions in the system. Before we start, let me show you where to set the inventory costing method. In the stock valuation setting, set the inventory costing method that your company uses. This setting is enabled and can be changed even in inventory transaction entered. This is a list of transactions that we will be using. Let us show you how different costing method works in the subsequent videos. Fixed cost is the most simple inventory costing method. It is the costs that do not get changed when the purchase price differs. In Sage UBS, it is based on the unit cost set in the item maintenance. For the sample transactions that we have entered, you can see that the cost used is all the same. Moving average is an inventory costing method that specifically involves working out an average cost per unit at each point in time after a purchase, item received, and assumes that inventories are sold simultaneously. This moving average method is commonly used in business where inventories are piled or mixed together and cannot be differentiated. This calculate the cost of ending inventory and cost of goods sold for a period on the basis of average cost per unit of inventory. For the sample transactions that we have entered, you can see that the cost used is the average cost. First in first out, FIFO, assumes that the first inventor is bought are the first ones to be sold, and that inventor is bought later are sold later. The FIFO method is commonly used if one trades in foodstuffs and other goods that have a limited shelf life, because the oldest goods need to be sold before they pass their sell-by date. For the sample transactions that we have entered, you can see the cost used at different stage. Month average is an inventory costing method that specifically involves working out a month average cost per unit at each point in time after a purchase, item received, and assumes that inventories are sold simultaneously. Likely similar to moving average costing method, this calculate the purchases transaction in the system. This month average method is commonly used in business where inventories are piled or mixed together and cannot be differentiated. This calculate the cost of ending inventory and cost of goods sold for a monthly period. For the sample transactions that we have entered, you can see that the cost used is the month average cost. Thank you, and have a nice day.